Hi everyone, I just repotted this lavender pebbles in this really cute pot that my mum got me yesterday. I think it looks just perfect. I can't wait until it starts to settle in. But yeah, really pretty. I have been busy trying to hand pollinate all of my succulent flowers. Um, I got so many down here. I've just, yeah, I have flowers everywhere. Um, yeah, so I have been very busy doing all the um, hand pollination. Uh, I'll actually, I'll show you a little update on my succulent seeds. So, here's a little update. These seeds are Echeveria Blue Metal. So, hopefully I've managed to successfully cross them with God knows what. Um, but they're getting big. In this one, I have Echeveria Hera. Um, they're still small. This one, um... I think it's called Cheviana Bumps or something. Um, I'll show you. Oh, thanks, Tia. I'll show you the so mother plant. This is the mother plant to those seeds. I have no idea what I've managed to cross it with. Well, I hope I've crossed it with something. Um, she's flowering again, which is good. But yeah, that was the plant of the last little seedlings. And in this one, I have my baby finger seeds some of them are starting to look well some of them one so these ones over here are quite chubby but this one here it's a little bit pointy so it'd be interesting to see what i've crossed it with well that's if i have successfully done that but i was trying really hard um but yeah they're slowly growing these ones in here are from echeveria bumps they're a bit slower growing than the other ones, but hopefully I can get some of them to adulthood. Got some other ones growing as well, but I thought that was enough to show you all, because the other ones are pretty boring. They're only still quite small. But yeah, that's an update on the seedlings. Down here, I have some head chops. So this one is Echeveria Little Brother. I've got a little baby there, and I've got a bigger baby there. This one, I think, is Zorro, but I'm not too sure. This one is um, Echeveria Dream Fantasy Variegated. I chopped the, oh my god, Tia, can you stop? I chopped the stem because it was really, really tall. And I didn't expect the stem to survive. But to my surprise, she's pushing some babies. So that's really fun. Um, this is Echeveria Bumpy Blue. I This one was originally quite tall like that one. But I noticed that it had stem rot. So I tried to chop the stem rot out of it, but I don't think I've been successful, which sucks because I had some babies on it. So anyway, this one is Decora. She's got some babies growing on her stem. Um, this one over here is Kensu. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I only chopped this one because I didn't like the look of its stem. And to my surprise, it's pushing some babies. So that's really cool. Here is my Golden State variegated. I chopped this because the stem was just ridiculously tall. And to my surprise, she's pushing some babies. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Is it Sui, Sui Yun? Sui Yun or whatever the hell it's called. It's pretty common. Um, I gave that one a chop and look at all the babies on that stem. Pretty incredible. I've got some other ones going. That one, I believe, died. This one was Echeveria Gleaming. Um, 
And I think that stem is a goner. This stem here is a monstrous blue metal. Um, and it's growing some monstrous babies, which makes me really, really happy. Um, what else have I got to show you down here? This one's growing some babies as well. Um, do I have a name? Oh, it's faded. That's when I first started collecting succulents. I was writing my names in um, permanent markers. Uh, and then, as you can tell, they fade in the sun. So if you were going to write your labels out, use lead pencil. You cannot go wrong with lead pencil. Um, yeah. I often see people posting all their collections on Facebook and I see all their tags. They're like this and they're written in permanent marker across the tag and I just, I don't say anything because they'll learn like I did, but yeah. Use lead pencil. It'll save you a lot of drama later on. Isn't this pretty? This is Echeveria Black Opal. So pretty. Um, bit of a difficult one, to be honest. She's got a bit of a stem, so I will eventually be chopping this probably where my thumb is. Um, and then I'll have that little stem there. Normally, if you cut stems like this, honestly, I, it's a 50-50 chance, or maybe even worse than 50-50. Like, normally the stem dies. Um, so if you're going to cut a plant like this, don't expect it to survive. <laughs> um, because, yeah, sometimes they don't. So I'm actually pretty happy with the ones that I've got going at the moment. Technically, I've lost two. I'm just going to count this one as a goner because I don't have high hopes for it. And I can already tell that that one's gone. Um, I actually chopped my large cante that was in my garden bed. Um, and... <laughs> It is no longer large anymore. It's actually quite small. Still hasn't pushed any new roots. And I think I lost the stem in the garden bed. So realistically, I've actually lost three. Uh, but yeah. I would show you some of my cacti flowers. This is a cacti I got off my nan. Um, it's very old. Aren't its little clusters beautiful? So I have this red one, this orange one, this pink one, and that yellow one. And I'm actually trying to cross pollinate them all to see if I can get um, any different colors. This one here is supposed to be a pink one as well, um, but I think it might be a different pink compared to this one. We'll find out eventually. She's got some buds going, um, but yeah, it's very pretty that pink, very, very vibrant. Um, what other flowers have we got? These ones, there was two flowers here and they were open the other day, but now they're finished. I should have taken a video of them when they're open because they're quite pretty. Yeah, that's some of the cacti at the These moment. These are some of the plants to those head chop stems. So this is little brother. I actually... I've got a spider living underneath there. There's my little spider friend. Um, she's pushing one root <laughs> there, but that's little brother. This is gleaming. Gleaming isn't pushing any roots yet. I've just got them sitting in empty pots. This is bumpy blue. Love bumpy blue. Very pretty. Bumpy blue's blue is pushing some new roots. This is a mystery. I don't know what this one is. It's like a nice pink one. Um, she's not pushing any roots yet either. Um, actually, I think this might be my mystery one. I think I said it was, I thought it was Zorro, but I think it's actually this one. Um, so yeah, there's some of the heads to my head chops. Today is Wednesday. I don't know what the date is today. September something. Um, anyway, it is 30 degrees Celsius today. So hopefully my bumpies and frillies start pushing some new growth because as I think I've mentioned before, I've plucked all their lower leaves to try and encourage the uh, new growth in the center rosettes. Um, so yeah, 
And some of them are pushing babies. So that's really cool where I pluck some of the, I don't know if you can see, there's a baby coming up there. But um, yeah, so hopefully I get to see some new growth. This is actually a flower stem from Echeveria Bumps. And I just wedged it in the pot and she's given me a baby. So we love that. This one as well. It's another flower stem that's given me some some babies. Um, ouch, whoops. Um, but this one here is really pretty. Um, what else have I got? Oh, every time I look at this, I get a little sad. I paid $60 for this online plus, you know, postage because it was supposed to be Echeveria Valentine. Um, and it is most definitely not Valentine. Is a really beautiful purple, similar to um, that Echeveria Black Opal. Uh, so that's a bit disappointing. So I actually found the best place to buy frillies and bumpies is on Facebook from collectors who sell, you know, their extras from their private collections. Um, but I never managed to get any of the really good plants because some people are so quick when they buy things and especially if they do like an auction, like a tiny little plant like this might go for, you know, 50, 60, 100 plus dollars. Um, but I told myself I've got to propagate what I've got here first and then try and sell off those extras and then use that money to try and buy <laughs> another special one. And plus, I was trying to um, grow my own hybrids. So that would be fun to try and grow my own hybrids and sell off as well. And then slowly collect all the really um, nice ones. Like, yeah, I want the Echo Valentine. I want um, the Oceana. Oh, Oceana is so pretty. There's a couple of other ones there that I can't think off the top of my head, but some of them are just beautiful. I have like a little list in my notes on my phone of my little wish list plants. I'm sure everyone does that. <laughs> the list is never ending and it just keeps on growing. Actually, this one, I think I got this one off Facebook. Hold on. I got a label in here. Let's have a look. Oh no, I got it from Greenland. It is a Greenland hybrid. This is how I do all my labels. Um, I write down what it is. Sometimes I write down where I got it from. Um, and then I'll put the price on the back of what I paid for it. I just find that's really, really handy. Sometimes I pull up a price tag and I nearly swallow my own tongue because I cannot believe how much money I paid for it. Um, yeah, that's just a little, little handy Actually, tip. I'm trying to propagate some of my cacti. I broke off a whole heap of babies of all of my plants that had babies able to be broken off and I've tossed them in here and I'm hoping they eventually turn into their own happy healthy little plant oh here we go what's this called Chinese dunce caps I believe I always go to say juice but yeah Chinese dunce caps they are just waking up love 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 these I've got the variegated one as well but last winter not last winter, sorry. Well, yeah, winter. This winter just gone and like last winter as well, last year's winter. My goodness, I nearly lost all of them, especially all my variegated ones as well because we just had like all that rain. They um they didn't cope very well. I'm lucky that I got this pot that survived over here. This pot over here. So if you have a look, um, see all these Echeveria... PVNs or Pervonjerg, um, all of these are actually leaf propagations from my variegated Echeveria Rainbow West. Um, they are not variegated like their mother plant, but they are still beautiful and I'm keeping an eye on them, hoping that maybe they might throw <laughs> a random variegation. That's wishful thinking. That will probably never happen, but Nevertheless, a pot of them would look beautiful. That, I believe, is strawberry ice. Not very strawberry. It just looks like Elegans. Is that how you pronounce it? Sometimes I don't um, pronounce the succulent names, and I just say the name in my head. And then 
if I read the name, I look at it, I'm like, that sounds like nothing what I thought it would sound like. So apologies if I call things the wrong name. Uh, Put it up yeah. some more propagation. So this tray here and this tray here. I'll step back so you can see them. Um, they are all from leaf propagation. And not only are they from leaf propagation, but they are from the leaves of flower stems. They were all in one tray that I had and I had to separate them on the weekend because I was squashing themselves. So now they all have their own individual little pot. Um, but yeah, these ones here are all from leaf propagation as well. But yeah, it's so much fun to finally see them turning into their own little plants. Actually, this, this pot here, um, believe it or not, but I have a fish planted in this pot. Um, it was one of my favorite fish from my little bathtub over there that I got my goldfish in. My favorite one fell ill. Um, and I was hand feeding him and everything. I don't know what was wrong with him, but I lost him and it made me really sad. So I wanted to make sure I knew where he was at all times. And he's in this little pot and he was white with orange and brown speckles on him. Oh, look, a little spider. Did you see that? Oh, I don't know if you've seen it or not. Um, but yeah, so the topping actually reminds me of him so much. It looks like him, but yeah. Oh, it's so sad when you lose something that you love. This is, um, I'm just going to say blackberry. I think it's known as something else. I don't know if it's a grap topitalium. I don't know how to say those names. So I'm just going to say blackberry. If you want to Google it, Google succulent blackberry. And I'm sure it will pop up. But it had a flower stem here. I'm waiting on these seeds here. Hold on, I'll try and zoom in. This one's got some seeds in it. I'm waiting for them to mature so I can collect them. Um, but yeah, I've collected some seeds off this one. I don't know what I've crossed it with, but hopefully we get some babies from it because I really like this one. It's like a, it's a miniature succulent, um, but it is just, it's so cute. I find it bloody adorable. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can be successful in growing some seeds from These it. These two pots here, they're from a lady that I used to work with. Um, she gave them to me and I have planted some cute little succulents in them. Every time I see them, I just think they're so adorable. I keep adding leaf babies in this garden bed. It looks pretty full, especially when there are just leaf babies everywhere in here. These ugly looking things here, they're flower stems. Um, some of them are pushing babies. I'll try and show you. Can you see that little nub? There's a baby. I stick all the flower stems in here and just let them do what they do best. Um, what else have I got to show you guys? I don't know what else there is to show. I don't know if I've shown you this. This is, um, is it Blue Minima? I can't remember, but I bought this as a single head in 2021 um, at the Collector's Plant Fair. And look at her now. I recently repotted it into a bigger pot because she was growing over the sides of her other pot. But isn't she beautiful? I actually have the variegated form of this and I will show you now. Here is the variegated form. Isn't that beautiful? I really hope that one day I can get a big cluster of this, like the non-variegated form. Isn't it just stunning? Really, really good. I'd show you some of my special collection. So this is the variegated cubic frost. Isn't it just to die for? Gosh, I just find it absolutely stunning. So pretty. I love the purple and the yellow. Really Here's pretty. Here's a variegated Lola. This was on my wish list for so, so long. Um, and I got extremely lucky. I went to Susan's Succulents. She has an online website as well. Um, she's in the Central Coast. But yeah, I went and visited Susan. There was once upon a time in my life where I would spend nearly my whole paycheck each week at Susan's online. <laughs> um, she is, she's lovely, Susan. She has such a big heart. 
but yeah, I, I went and visited her and I seen she had this variegated Lola and I was like, oh my God, I actually didn't expect her to let me buy it. And she um, was more than happy for me to have it. So I am very thankful for Susan that I have this very special plant. This is, um, what's, it, what's it called? Echeveria Andrews Choice, or AKA Blue Surprise. This is a variegated form. After this, I'll show you the normal form. I'm a little worried about this. I don't want it to go albino. Uh, I can see in the center that she still is pushing some chlorophyll, so that makes me happy. Um, but yeah, another really pretty one. I was hoping to see it a bit more purple in winter, but I actually kept it quite happy. I want it to grow, so I've been feeding it and watering it when it needs to be watered. So it didn't get very stressed at all, but hopefully one day I'll be able to see it, that beautiful purple color and the variegation, a beautiful yellow pinky color. That's my goals for this one anyway. So here is my not variegated Andrew's Choice or AKA Blue Surprise. Um, it was shrinking, it was root bound. So I transferred it into a bigger pot, which is this one. Um, it's still shrinking a bit, but that is probably because I'm letting her flower, because I'm trying to pollinate things and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this one actually turns a really pretty purple color. So she's not very purple at the moment, because again, I keep feeding them, wanting them to grow. <laughs> Another variegated one. Um, Cedaria Blue Mist. My God, this thing cost me an arm and a leg when I bought it. Uh, and then like long story short, like it rotted and then I thought it was reverting and just, it is a miracle that this thing is alive. But yeah, very pretty. I think this is strawberry ice variegated, pushing some babies. Another really pretty one. And I have Tinkerbell. This is actually a head chop. So this is the head um, and I planted her in this pot and then look at all the babies she has pushed me. She has actually pushed more babies than her stem. Um, so I found that really interesting. But yeah, another little this pretty one. is the unicorn poop plant. I can't say its real name. Orbi I don't know. I'm not even going to try. This is a, a cutting that is now rooted. I had to put it in this cute little unicorn pot. Um, but yeah, she's finally grown some roots because she was really dehydrated. And now she is plump again. So that is really great. Yeah, I love the colors on this one, really beautiful. This is Blue Haze Variegated. Um, this is actually a head that I chopped. She's not long grown some roots. I'll show you her stem. This is her stem. I'm pretty disappointed in this chop. Um, she had all this bare stem here and she just gave me one baby from the top. So that was really disappointing. I was hoping she was going to push some babies along the side here, but oh well. I had to show you guys this one. Um, this is Angel Wings. This is another head chop. This is her head. This one is ridiculous. No matter what I do, she grows tall and stemmy like this. Um, I tried to give her some more sun. You can see this leaf here. I tried to give her some more sun and that actually burnt. Um, so, but yeah, she's still really pretty, but she will eventually turn into a palm tree. So I'll probably have to chop this one again. And I think I'll end this video with Opalina variegated. Another really, really beautiful, beautiful plant. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.